I'm interested in what you consider home um, or where you consider home or things that you consider home being that, you know, some of you came at a young age, some of you came at an older age, like what's home for you? And do you feel home here in this tr supposed dreamland? And we're in Brooklyn, of course. <laughs> um, uh, I, I mean, I, I think I think home can be completely detached from geography. I, I think that to be at home, one needs to sense that the world around one is to an extent in one's control. Um, you know, as human beings, the world is never entirely in our control, They're not even close, uh, but to a degree to which it is tolerable. Uh, and that's one aspect. And the other is that those who cohabit the world with one accept one. Um, that one can walk freely through space uh, with one's dignity intact. Um, I think those are the two things that make for home. Uh, and given that home could be anywhere. And there's also, you know, the, there's, it's hard to think of like anything, any one place being able to do that. Just like I can't confine my identity to one thing anymore. One, one place fills different parts of me. Um, I'm very much at home in New York. When I go back to Ethiopia, that felt, I hadn't been back in 25 years. I felt like home even before I got on the plane. I lived in France for years and I felt at home for a while. Um, and so that, that space that is, it is, um, it's, a, it's not a settled reality, I think, for some people. Some people have a very strong sense of this is where they belong and where they're rooted. But uh, you know, as you noted earlier, that is something that is sort of changing and has will continue to that, um, that displacement and that dislocation. And it can turn very violent if we feel like we need to fiercely defend what we consider to be our home. Um, it can also be very jarring if we feel like we need to define where is and what is home and where we belong and where are you from and locate ourselves in their very small sometimes um, identities when we're not, we're not suited for that anymore at times. I think for me, it, it no longer uh, is about borders or a flag uh, at all, even though um, for very important reasons, I do identify myself uh, as an American where, especially when I'm in a crowd of people who I think are anti-American in the same way that Dinao has been um, more inclined to identify himself as an immigrant writer now. I mean, we, uh, we end up reorienting our, uh, our sense of identity based on the pressures that we undergo um, from time to time. Um, but I think my attachments now are mostly uh, defined, or my sense of home is mostly defined by, um, by things that um, are, are issues of the mind, are attachments that are limited to um, things that I read, literature that I'm attached to, and where the books are and where my children are. Uh, ends up being um, the the complete most complete sense of home that I can define, but it's no longer as as I think Dina also mentioned. It's less about a country or a flag or borderlines, um, and and more about um, camaraderies that get shaped around um, shared um, beliefs and shared values. <laughs> 